Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech. Again, this is Kevin. Today we're going to talk about um, audio interfaces. So this is the uh, part one. Uh, so I'm going to use the Roland audio interface first, connected to my Windows PC. And then on the second part, we'll be talking about um, the Scarlett Focusrite um, audio interface connected to my Windows uh, or Mac iOS MacBook Pro. So to start, so you can see on the screen that I have my Roland Quad Capture. So this one is uh, already an, an obsolete um, audio interface, but it's quite similar to the Rubik's 2 2x2. Two two. And then um, if you would see the front of the screen, this is where you put your input, input 1 and input 2. There's a label here that says high Z, so it is usually used for um, guitars. If you're going to use guitars, then you have to connect it here, and but you can also use it for microphone inputs. So you have two inputs here, and then this is your level input. So you can control how much input is going in into your um, audio interface. This is for input 1, this is for input 2, and this is for your um, monitoring. So if you put this here, you'll be hearing much of your um, what you're playing in the background. For example, if you're using a DAW, then you'll be hearing more of that if you put it here but if you put it at around 50 percent then it will be the sound that would be coming from your input and then from your playback that would so for example uh sound coming from your guitar you will hear that and then sound coming from for example from your daw then you can hear that but if you want to hear only the sound from your guitar then you have to put it here so beyond the 50 percent level yeah, so you will feel some resistance when you go past 50 percent yeah so going down here is for your playback if you're playing something in your daw but if you go past 50 percent then it's more for your instrument coming from your input but if you put it somewhere in the middle then you will hear both from your playback and then from your instrument so this is the level of your if you're if you put a monitoring uh, if you want to put a headset here so that you can monitor monitor how the sound that you're generating then you can increase the level here the level of the sound or the volume yeah here so from the lowest to the maximum yeah then if you want to hear it as a mono sound then you have to press this button meaning if you want to hear a mono sound from coming from these inputs then you have to click this but if you don't if you want it to hear in stereo then you have to unpress this then auto sense um it's a function that is unique in roland in roland audio interfaces wherein if you have too much input then if you would press this then it will provide you the correct level of the um, input so that your sound that you're sending into your audio interface doesn't um, doesn't go pick it doesn't uh, this this pick uh, LED light signal later I'll show you again what I mean by this thing so that because if you have too much input this one the red light will start um, flashing so I meaning say your audio is being clipped and that wouldn't sound nice in your recording or if you're playing live so that's why this auto sense button if you click this if you put the level too much and then you click this it will auto it will automatically find the correct level so that the sound doesn't get clipped or the sound signal is not picking then we'll go to the back of the audio interface
yeah so this is the USB connection to your PC so it would both provide power to your audio interface and it would um, be used be used as a um, digital audio transmission between uh, or audio audio sound transmission uh, analog analog audio transmission between your interface and your uh, PC so again it will provide power and at the same time it would provide the means to transfer your digital or your analog audio between your PC and your audio interface then these two would be your MIDI input output so if you have an instrument that is quite old so usually it doesn't have a USB connection you only have those MIDI input output so you can connect them here if you have a digital uh, input um, digital audio cable then you can connect them here your left and right and then if you want to have um, to connect your modern monitor speaker from your audio interface to your from your in the audio interface then you have to connect them here this is for one fourth cables yeah I, I sorry I forgot to mention that for your input in the front you can either use an XLR or one fourth cable so for your monitor speaker you only have one option and that is the one fourth cable and then this is the ground lift so if you want to um, eliminate those ground sound that you can hear sometimes uh, uh, when you're connecting your audio interface to your instrument and whatnot then if you move this thing to to ground lift then it would try to eliminate that sound but sometimes it doesn't really work sometimes just connecting your PC to your uh, charging cable it creates some ground sound and sometimes I tried before if you still put this on lift it doesn't really eliminate the ground sound so what I did was I just disconnected my PC from my uh, uh, charging cable and then this phantom power it's meant for um, if you're using a condenser mic so you have to place it on 40 HV if you're using a condenser mic and then you have to switch this to off if you're using a dynamic mic then finally you have this um, on off or high Z so what is high Z so there are some instruments specifically um, guitars wherein uh, guitars are considered uh, to have high impedance impedance is something like um, the resistance of your audio coming from your guitar pickup to your monitor so usually um, audio interfaces have a low impedance and then your guitar has a high impedance so there will be some issues uh, transmitting your sound from your guitar to your audio interface so the, the theory is that it is easier to transfer sound or audio between two instruments if they are of the same impedance so if your guitar has a high impedance impedance then your audio interface has a low impedance then there would be issues on transmitting that audio that's why you have an option here to switch this to high Z so that the input where you connect your guitar on the front will have the same high impedance then you have a more uh, fluid transmission of your audio so if I would try to connect my audio interface to my USB cable let's see it will boot up then you see it's lighting up then once it's done then you can see there's a light button here I would connect my XLR cable so I will try to connect my digital piano to my uh, audio interface using an XLR cable then I would try to play something 
seventy. You will see sound is s being sent from my digital panel to my input two because my cable is connected to input two. So let's try that. You will not hear any sound, but we're just trying to see the level. Okay. So if I play this thing, you see the sound is already peaking. It's either you bring this down so that the sound would not get clipped. You have that um, peak indicator unlighted. Yeah, so this one is a good level. But if you would press this thing, or increase this thing, then you have a peaking sound. You can also use this auto sense. Then it would automatically send the level up to here maximum so that it doesn't get big. So that's the purpose of your auto sense button. You see, I didn't lower the the gain. It I didn't lower the gain, but the other interface detected that it should stay up to here. Then this one is lighted up. So means say the audio interface is controlling how much input is coming into the Roland digital audio interface. So if I play, you would see that there's no picking sound. Yes, I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like my video, so please click like if you do. And then if you want to see my future videos, please click subscribe. Have a good day. Thank you and bye.